The Envarflow was made to work very easily, not only in fabrications at the plant, but also in the field. We've included specifically located ribs. There's three of them on each full meter length channel that have a role not just for rigidity, but also to give you a precise guide to make shorter pieces, roughly 10 inch increments. This is the half piece of the channel that you just saw. You notice that this male lip connects very easily with the female lip of another channel. We've also been requested to do fabrications where you can make a T connection very easily, or a miter as we call it. This is very easily accomplished by removing basically this angled skirt on the frame. Then we've developed something called a T adapter. This is the piece that was already trimmed down. This adapter basically snaps onto the side of my channel and now basically represents a lip just like the channel had originally. So I can do a very quick connection with a male coupling. Again, this male coupling is sized for the deepest channel. If I cut it down, I get to this coupling, which I can then connect together. For the end right here, I will get the end cap and I would close it and you see it has markings, so I would trim it down to the right height. But sometimes the factory needs to pitch in and create very custom miters for a specific uh, uh, job. In those instances, an outlet may be needed right in the corner. And I'll show you in a second how we do those. What I'm doing is taking the 9930s that have already been pre-cut. These are both 45s, I'm making it into a 90. These 9930s are made from a polymer material and the rod that we use is also made from the same material. As you can see, it's a simple weld that is done with an adjustable welder using air pressure, compressed air. All right, I'm about to weld the grates for the channel together. Same material, but what we have here is a clear color to, so we can match up with the grates. It can be a little challenging, but it is not hard to do at all. That's a single well on the bottom side of the grate. Now I'm about to go over the top side of the grate, close in the seam on the well. 